hi so today uh we going to see a uh, virtual private cloud so what is virtual private cloud so it is a a custom made private network within the aws so it is like a traditional network so with the help of the vpc we can build the network and the sub network it is similar to a on prem network so the vpc help to form a network in aws cloud okay so with the help of the vpc we can create the uh, own network in our organization okay so uh, it will have a control over the network configuration so the benefits of the vpc we can create our own network and the multiple networks it cannot be it cannot be created in a availability zone so it cannot be created in a availability zone it is created in the whole region okay so without vpc uh, some service cannot be created okay so example ec2 service so the ec2 service is a dependent on vpc service without vpc we cannot uh, without vpc we cannot create the ec2 instance so the next subnet subnet will play a major role in creating our own environment so the subnet is a segment okay so uh, uh so like i said before in an on premises it can create a, a department like once you can create a department in aws department are called the segments or subnets okay so inside the vpc there will be a subnet if we delete the vpc the subnet will also will be deleted so the consider the vpc is a home subnet is a each room in each room there will be a device each device cannot be communicated with the help of this with the help of without the help of router so help to route between the multiple lan i am so help to route between the each department okay so the next we going to see the important person is router so without this person we cannot be communicated between the lan this is a important device to communicate between the lan so the inside the router the root table will be there so it contains the sets of routes which determine whether where the traffic is directed so the root table will decide where the traffic can be directed okay so it is a router which is attached to the vpc the traffic will be routed to and front internet via the internet gateway okay so the to access the to access the outside the world we need the to we need the router we need the main router is a internet gateway okay so next we going to see how to create our own network and with our own network we can create the ec2 instance okay so see here i am going to the ec2 uh, sorry i am going to the vpc service okay and i am going to create the my own vpc click create vpc select vpc only and you have to give your name i am going to create create a test environment i am putting test environment and ipv4 cadr block is 192.168.1.1 Zero slash twenty four. So the tag automatically had been completed. So we have to click create VPC. So now our VPC have been created. Okay. So you can see here. see so this is our test environment if you see here 
in the root table we found here so see here so under the test environment one one main root table have been created here okay so the main root table will be uh, created automatically see if we go uh, okay uh, i will give one name to the test root main test main root or something okay so if we go inside the root table it will reach locally okay so the next task is task is we are going to create a subnet here okay click create subnet we have to select our v our test environment vpc so under that we have to give the name test public subnet okay availability zone in ap south 1a so main thing we have to give the um ipv4 cidr block 192.168.1.0 slash 26 okay so next we have to click create subnet so see our test public subnet have been created and next thing so we have to access the we have to uh, access outside the inter you have to access the internet so we have to create the internet gateway click internet gateway and click create internet gateway give one name test hyphen igw so click create internet gateway see now it is in a created state now it is in a detached so we have to attach to our vpc so select our environment test environment and attach to the so it is in the attached state okay so now so we have created the root table okay so we have created the root table when we have, we have created our, we have created our home VPC we have created our one room a subnet so we have to give the uh, we have to show the uh, direction to our room that means we have to give root to the subnet okay so or and so the root to, the root should uh, the root should reach the internet access and also the root should uh, root the root should need to uh, uh, travel to the internet gateway so we have giving the root now so click edit roots add root internet gateway select it and click save changes okay so our whole environment here our whole environment have been created okay so now with the help of our own environment, I am going to create the instance, my own, um, with my own environment, I am going to create the easy to instance. My test environment, test hyphen environment, Microsoft Windows. Type T to micro. I am selecting existing key pair. Test windows. So this is the important part. Here we have to select our own environment network. Network settings. Test environment. Test public subnet. Auto IP. Auto as in public IP. Have to, it has to be enabled. And I am selecting the existing security group test. Or we can create the new one.
RDP is okay for us. RDP port is okay for us. And you have to keep your source type anywhere. 3389. RDP type is RDP. So configure storage, leave it as it is. Okay. So number of instance is 1. Click launch instance. So I'm filtering after instance state is changed to the running it will reflect easy to instance will reflect here so until we have to wait for two two one to two minutes So until we can refresh, so it will reflect here soon. See here. It is reflected so we have to instance state is in running so instance status check it has to be changed two by two until we until the status check changing to in uh, two by two check two by two uh, we have to wait So, so defaultly, yeah. So defaultly, we have to wait to status uh, until status is changing to the two by two check. There's no other way. So. So let's check. Okay. So it has passed the two by two check. And now we're going to We're going to connect to the remote desktop. Okay. Here, I'm going to click RDP client. Okay. So, now I'm copying this. I'm pasting here. I'm copying the username and pasting here. Connect. Click connect. 
and we have to get the password test windows decrypt the click decrypt password and we can copy the password and paste it here and copy click yes and yes so here we have achieved our goal so with our own environment we have connected to the remote desktop and uh, with the help of the own network we can we have created our own ec2 instance So see here, this is our own environment. So, okay. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any doubt, you please leave the your please leave your doubts in your comment section. Okay. I hope with this help of this video, you will learn what is VPC and uh, with the help of this lab you can able to you will learn you will learn to create the uh, virtual private cloud in your own so thank you for watching thank you